I'm Daniel, and today I want to talk to you guys about a quick tip that I use on my drains. I do this when I'm making frag tanks and different things because algae is a problem, and if you don't catch up with it, sometimes it can grow and clog your drain. Snails can get in there, crabs, um, all kinds of fish, little things that you do not want, wrasses. So what I do is I design this very simple. They're just T's, um, one inch PVC, and this slips on where I have my one inch drain. So there is a net on this side, and there's a net on the bottom. Now this way it pulls water from the bottom and the top and skims the water. If you just have water skimming from underneath, it, and you don't have some kind of surface skim, you will notice oil build up on top of your surface. So that's why I always have a, a water level surface skim to avoid that. And then just in case ever this got blocked up and you had algae or a ton of stuff, something happened and this got clogged, I have up top here is an over emergency drain that's wide open. So it's up pretty high, you can cut this off if you guys wanted to. And you can always adjust this to fit your needs. Um, when I built this tank over here, I noticed that there was a certain sweet spot with the water flow and the sound and the drains. I do have two one inch overflows in the back, but they are plenty and I have a pretty massive pump on here and a lot of water turning around. So, but I've also had snails get caught in there and block completely off a drain. And if I didn't have that extra drain, I would have been in big trouble. So that's why I switched over to those little nets. They come in handy and I'm sure you've seen them like this. You can use the screens. Some people use the windows for the top of their, keep fish from jumping out. So. So that's that. So, yep, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask. I did use, all it is is a male-female fitting, and I just pressed it in there pretty tightly with the netting, and then cut it off. So that's really nothing fancy, it's just in there. You could pull that out and change it if you wanted to. So there you guys go. Look what I have here, the brand new Coral Magazine just came yesterday. I haven't even got a chance to open it and read it yet, but I'm excited to see what they think are 50 expert only fish. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek because I haven't even read this yet. But what should, look at that, Mandarin. How many people have been able to successfully keep a Mandarin? Um, so we'll, we'll talk about that, lots of cool stuff. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching and as always, happy reefing until next time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend, and thank you for being part of the Coralus community.